Hello everyone, welcome back and I uh, hope life's treating you well. As always, um, Samantha back here. And um, a lovely subscriber actually asked me a very quick question on my last video for the Egyptian link bracelet um, as to how to do the clasp. Um, so number one, thank you so much for your comment. Um, this lovely lady uh, made a very good point actually. I, I omitted to do the clasp. Now, there's a couple of reasons for this. Um, the first one being is I'm aware that beginner videos can be a little long, obviously, because we take things very step by step. And I didn't want to overface anyone with a 40 hour video. <laughs> and secondly, um, I wasn't sure whether you guys wanted me to put clasps onto the end of um, project videos, because obviously there are quite a lot of clasp videos out there on this lovely platform YouTube and I didn't want to sort of oversaturate things but if it's something that you'd like me to do at the end of projects then just let me know in the comments. I'm quite happy to show um, simple clasps for pieces okay so let me know. So without further ado um, let me show how to make two different types of clasps for this particular bracelet. The first one is a very very simple um, J hook or shepherd's hook or shepherd's crook hook, <laughs> say that after a port or two. Um, and the second one is very, very simply a little bent over um, hook, really, really simple to do. Um, the hooks work slightly differently. This shepherd's crook one fits in sideways like so. So you'll have a bit of a larger gap between your units. So consider that if you if you've got a shorter bracelet and you want to make it slightly longer. OK, so we'll go have go through how to make that one. So as you can see, it fits in sideways. And the second one, all you need extra is a little jump ring at the end. And this guy fits in what I call top to bottom. Like so. OK, so again, very attractive. You can make these smaller or larger. I'm going to show you how to make this particular size today. OK, really, really simple. And so this will be quite a short video. OK, so um, thank you to my lovely subscriber who asked me to show how to make these. OK, so we'll just go through um, the materials that we need and they're really, really simple. So I use the same gauge wire that I use for the bracelet. You can go up slightly, maybe to 1.25. I think that's 16 gauge. Um, if you prefer a slightly chunkier clasp, I don't, but that's entirely up to you. Um, you're going to need, as usual, your flush cutters. Again, my preference is a six step, but again, use your round nose if you prefer. Two pairs of your chain nose just for whittling things around a little bit you're going to need a simple ruler just to measure out your lengths and a one millimeter wire five millimeter uh, jump ring or a six depending um, on what you have in in your stash okay so that's all you're going to need today so i'll clear the table away and we'll very quickly go through these classes okay so i'll see you in a sec Right, so the first one, let's have a look at this first one. OK, so this is just a simple, simple, super easy to make little class, but very effective for these sort of larger, flatter pieces that you want to sit rather more flat to the wrist. OK, so I'll show you how to make this little guy. So for this particular size of class, I'll measure it for you. About a centimetre and a half in length which is just over half an inch, OK? So again, I'm working in centimetres today. And for this, you want nine centimetre length of wire, OK? So as always, you probably don't need to, but we'll just flush cut the end because I like neatness. And you want nine centimetres of wire, OK? So let's just measure that out and give it a snip. OK, 
Okay, so we have our nine centimeters. We basically just want to bend it right in the middle. Okay, so you can either eyeball it or you can come in and measure four and a half centimeters down. Oops. And grasp your wire right at the end of your plier or your round nose, whichever you prefer. And just simply bend. Okay, so that it's pretty much halfway. So come in with your chain nose pliers. And what we want to do at the end here is just to make this little hook, as you can see. So now your wire will want to fight you here, so just persevere. Just want to very, very gently smush the wires together, leaving a little loop type thing at the end, okay? Like so. You see that? So again, very, very gently and carefully make the wires parallel, like so. These ends here, if one is just slightly longer than the other, just give it a snip so that they are the same length, okay? Now I'm going to use the second step on my pliers to make this, um, these loops here, okay? But again, you're free to experiment. So we want to measure down a centimeter, which is about there. Okay. And then we want to take our chain nose and just give it an angle very slightly like so. So with that angle facing upwards, we want to make the loop away from us. Okay. So pop the second step of your chain nose like so and make loops away from you. So hold firmly and rotate the pliers away from you so that we have this. So this is what we have at the moment, okay? You see that? So the next stage is to make this bend here, okay? So with the openings of these loops facing downwards, come in with the fifth step of your plier. So the openings are downwards, the fifth step facing away from you, and about, I don't know, what's that, about three millimetres, something like that, away from the plier. We want to bend this guy away from us, okay? So holding nice and firmly, bend, bend, and bend. That's as easy as that, okay? Oops. So when we take it off, we're left with this. Now it's easier if you put a slight lip on this part here, it's easier to attach it to your jump ring with a little lip on it. So basically you just come in with your chain nose plier and pull it upwards with a little lip like so. It's that easy. So all you have to do is to attach these little hoops, just open them outwards like so. Just come in. Ooh, I'm just looking through the camera here. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, just open them outwards like so. Okay, and attach them to the singular loop on the end of your piece. You'll find that this end has two and this end has the one. So you just need to attach this guy to the end of your piece, okay? All you need to do then is just attach the jump ring on the other side, and there you have it. So that's your first clasp done. Hope that's okay. 
and how pretty does that look okay so we'll come back in a second and we'll go through how to make a very simple shepherd's crook hook <laughs> or a j hook they're sometimes called okay so we'll come back in a second i'll see you in a sec so let's make the second hook okay so again like with the first one we attach it to this singular end not the end with the double prong okay so again one millimeter wire just pop that out of the way give it a good straighten and a stretch again even if we don't want to or need to should i say just flush cut the ends okay Right, so for this particular clasp, we need eight centimetres of wire because we don't want it to be too big and too obtrusive, do we? So eight centimetres. And again, like with most of my projects, I do like to have a slight touch more wire than I need because it's just easier to work with that way. Okay, so eight centimetres of wire. What we want to do is to create this tiny little hook Thing at the end this tiny little loop okay so get your needle nose if you have some or indeed a round nose plier right at the very edge and just twist it so you have this and then if you can manage it which is difficult sometimes because we know wire likes to fight us <laughs> just give it a bit of a squeeze so we have this. Okay, so I use for this particular clasp, I use the fifth step on my plier, just because I think it's the nicest size. So with this hoop facing you, like so, you want to be bending the wire away from you to make a hook like so okay then we come in with our chain nose and we just want to put a slight bend in this part here so if you play place your pliers just where this hook starts and just give it a bit of a tweak like so okay that's it simple the next thing we need to do is to make a hoop like so to attach to the bracelet, okay? So with the, what you want to do is to make sure that this guy is facing sideways. So we want this hoop to stand up this way, tall, okay? Rather than flat, okay? You'll see what I mean in a second. So with your hook in your hand thus, take your chain nose and pop it around about here and it's essentially very similar to how we make a wire wrap loop okay so we bend the wire away from us so we have this i like to use the second step here so second step on your plier bend it towards us and then over and away just like a wire wrap loop okay so we have this Okay, so at this point, we want to, like if we were putting, you know, another link of a, of a wire wrapped beaded loop, the singular loop, pop over and oop. Oh, honestly, pop it into place now, like so. It was fighting me then, wasn't it? Okay. Come in with your first chain nose and secure and hold and essentially we just want to be wrapping this wire around i like to do it three times just because i like the way it looks and it's more secure one and two and three okay so we're happy with that just trim the excess as always, mind your eyes. And as always, we just sort of tidy up this guy here, make sure it's not sticking out or rough against the skin. Okay, 
So, as you can see by the anatomy of how this looks now, when it's against the wrist, your hook is laying flat, which is exactly what you want, okay? Because when we come round to hook this guy, you can use this as a hook, okay? Which means that you don't have to have any open jump rings and things like that. So again, it's quite secure. So you see how that works? Okay, so I hope that's useful for you. Um, again, thank you very much to my lovely subscriber who asked how to do that, and I hope that works for you. Um, again, like I say, let me know in the comments if you want me to add clasps to each project. Um, I'm aware that it does take up a little bit more time and I don't want to bore you. <laughs> but if it's something that you'd like me to do, then just let me know. Okay, so I will see you very soon um, with my next video. So I hope you have a lovely week. Bye for now, guys.